Hi Scorpio, thanks so much for being here. We're going to do a short update video. Just see how things are going for you. Okay? Please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this doesn't resonate with you. And since this is a general reading, you know, it might not. But then again, it might be just perfect. Okay, it's got disruption, magic, and growth, which is just beautiful. Okay, and don't stress over disruption. That just means like an interruption, okay? And here you have comfort, which is wonderful. So you have two cards that have flowers at the end here. So it's this beautiful growth. Love it. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. This disruption can be anything. It could be you busy baking a cake and the phone rings. Okay, we'll get more information on all of these. This is saying you need to use your magic during this time. You know, the belief that you have and those special skills that only you have. And it's going to bring in growth, which is wonderful. That's a really positive sign and resulting in this beautiful comfort. And who does not love comfort? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get some tarot. See what it would like to share. Your first card, absolutely fabulous. So whatever this disruption is, is, is going to be a very happy one. <laughs> okay, maybe this disruption is um, you realizing that you need to make a change. And you are very happy about it because it's going to bring in something wonderful. Okay, this is bringing in the stability. It can be holding on too tight, that's possible, but the cards it's with, especially magic, makes me feel like it is a very positive energy. And look how perfect is this? Beautiful combination. This is where you're planting the seeds, nurturing the seeds, spending the time that you need to spend with them in order to create this beautiful garden. Of course, that's an example, but, you know, starting something and taking care of it the way it needs to be done in order to create a very fulfilling result. And what do you have here? Growth. Perfect match. Love it. Okay, and down here at the very end, at the bottom of the deck, you have comfort. And this is where you are leaving where you've been in some aspect and going for your happiness fits in wonderfully. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little clarification. Absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, you have the Nine of Wands. This is a wounded warrior. And what this is, is where you have been protecting and defending, making for sure that whatever it is in your life that you're feeling this about, that you have really been steadfast. And I can tell you, doing this for so long, it can really make you tired. So whatever this change is, this disruption, is a very positive one. Because the feeling I get from this is you're going to be able to relax. You're going to know that you don't have to be on guard. Okay? So you have two nines here. This is one of always feeling like you have to be on guard and protective. And this one is just about the opposite. Feeling so free and so happy. And it's not saying what this disruption is. It could just 
be. You've created something in your mind, right? With your magic and realizing that what you've been doing is not what you want. And so you're creating the change. Okay, ah, look at this. Bringing in the magic, making for sure the stability is there, which is bringing in happiness for you and everybody you care about. So if you'll notice, you have the nine and the 10 when it comes to happiness. <laughs> Another beautiful energy. You have the King of Swords. And what this is saying is you're basing everything here on your truth. So whatever the decisions you're making, you're using your truth to make them. So this is something that is not just, say, in your imagination. It's something that you know to be true. And also, the King of Swords uses their wisdom. Okay, now at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Swords. So you have three nines, and the nines are right before the change. Okay? So this is saying that there has been time where you have felt really stressed. And to me, this goes in quite well with this particular energy. You've been really stressed over something, so it might be something that you've been doing. It could be anything. Career, relationships, you know, thinking about moving. Only you're truly going to know. But it has been very stressful on you. And this could be the reason why you have gone in and given this a lot of thought. And you've come up with this wonderful answer that's bringing in happiness, stability. Now, on this particular card, or energy I didn't mention, you do need to have patience, all right? Which is sometimes hard to do. Because think about a garden. It takes a little bit of time to go from a seed to a beautiful, mature plant, right? But it's something that you love. And if you love it, and it brings you happiness. That time spent is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to use your magic. This is going to bring in comfort, happiness, and it's going to remove all these challenges. You know, these are thoughts, right? Your thoughts. It's going to remove those from your life. And you're going to end up very happy in your truth and feeling the comfort. Love it. Okay, let's... Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Maybe we should take this card twice. It flipped out. And I didn't even get to shuffle. It says intuition. Simple, complex words of pain or words that heal. You come to know truth by the way it feels. We have to take this one because two times it jumped right out of my hands. That's what it looks like. So... What this is letting you know is you're basing this on your intuition, how you feel. And I think I probably mentioned that somewhere in here. Yeah. You don't feel right in this energy. Probably not even this energy, but you feel so very right in this energy. So this card is telling you, use your intuition. That is the way to go to bring in this comfort and happiness. Love it. Okay. If you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. It really does help the channel. And I can't explain why. It's got to do with the algorithm that's outside of my expertise. Okay. You have a big, beautiful butterfly. This is all about transformation, which is definitely in this reading. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time. Much love. Bye.